the question. Huge appeal there from Haddon. Haddon thinks he's nicked it. And they're all looking around. Now then, are they going to question this? Well, look as if Ponting wants to have a look. Well, I've got to say, Haddon seems totally convinced. Ponting's gone on Haddon's uh, behaviour here, I think. What do you reckon, Heels? Yep, Haddon's in the gun. He is in the gun here. <laughs> this is going to show up the fraternity as good or bad. <laughs> but he has cost Australia something in. The others didn't really like it. He's got to cost the, the keeping fraternity. That's what you're saying, Ian Healy. That's what I'm saying, Mark Taylor. <laughs> well, hot spot. Let's see if Hotspot's got anything here. I've got to say, I didn't hear anything in my earpiece. Let's see. But it's the inside edge. And that doesn't tell us anything. No, it's out. It's out. <laughs> we need Hotspot on the inside edge. Here it is. Nothing. Again, the bottom of the bat has hit Peterson's pad, maybe. See the, the bottom inside edge but not really where the ball has gone through so hotspots let the keepers down let's have a look no, no, i reckon he's missed it the bat was quite a, a distance from the pad so but the, the, there was no real appeal from the bowler there's our hot spot there's nothing there on the bat about halfway up that's what you need so i, I think this decision is going to stay as is, not out. Keeper's in trouble, Hills. He's in trouble and might drag on for a session or two as well. I would be raked over the coals for that. <laughs> well, there was nothing else anywhere near. I mean, the bat wasn't near the pad or the boot. So uh, I'm afraid this is going to go against the Australians. There it is. Now look at Ricky. Can't believe it. Look at him. Can't believe it. Two for two fifty-nine. Well, there's a bit of a scene out there. Uh, it's two for two hundred and fifty-nine. Ricky Ponting has uh, blown his top out there with the umpires. He's come straight over. This is the explanation from the umpire. Something about the base of the bat. I think saying it hit, it hit the boot or pad. Ponting saying his bat was nowhere near his pad. We saw the replay up on the big screen. And you know, we'll just watch this, it keeps going, and Siddle joins in here as well. Ponting's not letting go here. No, and Siddle, get away. Get out of there. You leave your captain mouth off if he wants to. I don't know why he's mouthing off to umpire number two. It was number three who's given the decision. And I think Alim Dar saying the white mark was up the bat. The, the, if the ball passed up the bat, the white mark was on the bottom. It's a long way for him to go up and speak to number three. And then he has a chat uh, down the other end. So Ponting really furious about this. It seems that the Australians are convinced that uh, that one nicked the bat. Now, we might have to have another, have a, a little look. Th these are live pictures now. Ponting eventually going to his position, talking to Peterson, and uh, now asking the batsman, who says to him, oh, I just got a faint inside edge. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> to the stumps well come on then what do you guys think there was no there was, oh he hits the stumps and he's home i mean there was no bat anywhere near pad or foot the only thing that was near that bat was the ball well the other thing is the original look at the original appeal here from it's only really from Haddon behind who thinks it's out there's nothing from the slips shane watts has got his hand on his head the bowler doesn't think so the, the only noise was heard was from brad Haddon. now he's adamant there's an edge there He's saying inside edge. Peterson's sort of shaking the head, but it, it, obviously Alain Dar didn't hear anything. The bowler didn't hear anything, so he's given it not out. And, and then it goes upstairs, and the umpire said, well, there's nothing suggests to me that's out. I, I'm not really sure what the Australians are going on about. I think I saw Peterson there saying, not sure. See, see there's the Vodafone hotspot again. There's nothing on the inside edge of the bat. There is something down near the toe, which might have been the bat tapping on the ground before uh, the ball was bowled but there's certainly nothing on the inside edge that suggests that Peterson hit that ball and there was certainly not enough noise for even the bowler to hear it let alone the the umpire who was Alan Dar at the time so I think the right decision has been made yeah well, let's face it a faint little it Nick we've we've run every replay we've got and uh, if we can't find anything 
umpire has said not out, well, then that's got to be it. And, uh, and let's face it, the third umpire, Maria Erasmus, went through everything. He had uh, a look at all the angles of uh, the hotspot. He had a look at all the angles on the on the super slow mo, the close ups. The bottom corner of the bat, the right bottom corner is where the white was on. The ball didn't go past it. The ball passed about eight to ten centimetres up the bat. So there needed to be a white mark there somewhere. And that's what Alim Dar was saying, I'd imagine. And that's what Kevin Peterson was saying to Ricky Ponting. It passed up the top, not near my corner at all. The only time he hit the pad is when the bat came back. So on the way down, it definitely didn't. Uh, and that one's played away, and that's brought up Peterson's 50. There was a cheer from the Barmy Army and booze all around from the Aussies. Decisions, we have a look at Snicko. Come Snicko. Nothing at all. What's going to happen out of that event? It's not a matter whether Peterson was out or not out, is it? Ricky Ponting's going to be in real strife. You cannot stand there and argue with umpires after decisions is given. Well, and it was, as was said by the uh, the guys on before we got in here just now, is that it was the third umpire who made the decision. So, I mean, the querying of both umpires out in the middle, it's close, isn't it? The ball is close to pad. At that stage, the bat is away from the pad. I think the bat comes in to hit the pad, but there's no Vodafone hot spotlight. There's nothing indicating that. There's no Snicko saying there's uh, an edge. And, and Ricky argues the point for a hell of a long time. This video clip is brought to you exclusively by cricketcrowd.com.